So in this video here, we're going to take a look at how we can fine tune a Llama 2 model with Gradient. So it's actually like pretty easy. We're going to see how we can do it in Google Colab with only a few lines of code, how we can load in the model, take a data set, also even generate a data set. So this data set that we're going to use, we're going to create a data set for answering YouTube comments. So we go into one of my YouTube videos, take the comments, and then we're going to fine tune a Llama 2 model on that specific task. So let's not just jump into ChatGPT and let's generate our data for our YouTube comments. First of all here, we're just going to throw in the prompt to our chat GPT, and then we also have the specific format where we have our instruction and also our response. So this is basically the example that we want to train and fine tune our Llama 2 model on. So we have our inputs and then we have our instructions. So this is going to be a chatbot with the Llama 2 model. We need to put in our question here and then we also get a response back or like the response and answer to the question. So we put in our answer here. So generate a data set in this format to answer YouTube questions. There we go. And this, these are the examples. Then you can basically just have ChatGPT generating a data set for like an arbitrary topic that you choose on your own. Right now, we're just going to do it on my YouTube comments. So let's go in and take a couple examples. Here we can see that I'm currently a software engineer student in the second year. So let's just grab this question here, the first one. Let's throw it into ChatGPT. So add this example to the data set. And this is our question. And then we also need to throw in our answer. So let's go ahead and grab the answer for my YouTube comment. So here we go. Um, if you can switch your major to computer science, it teaches you about software engineering and so on. Let's just grab that. The answer, let's throw it in here and see if we can actually like add this example to our data set. Now we can see that it has added this new instruction and this new input uh, where we have our instruction. And then if we scroll further uh, to the right here, should be able to see our response as well. So here we can see the response. And this is basically just the question and answer that I threw in up here at the top. Then we can do it for a couple more examples and then go in and fine tune our last language model and our Llama 2 model with Gradient in Google Colab. Let's go in and grab some other examples. In this video, we're mainly going to focus on fine tuning our last language model, but Gradient doesn't just allow you to fine tune them, but you can also run inference directly with them. And you can also generate embeddings without needing specialized hardware. So when we're talking about fine tuning our last language models, it is actually like really hard to do because of all the infrastructure complexity behind it. But Gradient, it makes it super easy to do. All you do is pass in your training data via a simple API call, which we're going to do with the data from our ChatGPT model. So now we can see that our complete data set has been generated. Again, you can just choose an arbitrary data set. So let's go in and copy this code here, throw it into the Google Colab notebook. So I'm just going to post in the examples and then we're going to delete the first ones up here at the top. So we're only going to use the YouTube comments that we just threw into ChatGPT. We could even ask it to generate more examples specifically with these in mind and basically just generate more examples and variations of the specific inputs here. So this is the Google Colab notebook that we're going to use. So before we actually go in and fine tune our last language model, we're just going to take a look at the Gradient website and also their documentation and API reference, which is pretty cool. So Gradient makes it easy for you to personalize and build an open source last language models through a simple fine tuning and inference web API. We basically don't need to do anything. We just have a Google Colab notebook with a few lines of code and then Gradient will take care of all of it. So first of all here, let's just take a look at their guides. We have some introduction, bedding, integrations and also some other different things so if you take a look at the different models that they have available for now so they've also added more models and features and functionality over time but these are the models that we have for now so we have bloom uh, 560 llama 2 and also this noise hermes um, llama 2 model which we're going to use in this example we can see release date the number of parameters the license and such and also the model ids or the slug ids that we're going to use in our google colab notebook so we can also go in and see how we can use this python sdk example which is what we're going to use in our google colab notebook this is the only thing that you need with Gradient to be able to fine tune these last language models. So it's now going to sign up on the Gradient website. You can use the link down in the description and you'll get $5 in free work credit. So let's now just go in and sign up. I already have a user, so I can just directly load in. Once we're logged in, we get these workspaces and we can also access our access tokens. All of these tokens here will be revoked before this video will be published. So don't worry about that. So first of all here, we have our workspaces. I've just created this one YouTube test, but you can also go in and create more. So we can create a new workspace. Let's just call it test. We can submit it and then we can connect to that workspace in our Google Colab notebook and we can do all the web API calls through that. So first of all, we can copy our workspace 
token and we can also have our access tokens that we're going to go in and generate here i can just go in type in the password it will generate a new token but i already have it down here and again these will be revoked so let's now go over our google cola notebook here i've already copy pasted in our example data set now we're just going to pip install gradient ai so now when gradient is installed we can just set our gradient assets token and also the workspace id there we go now we can run this block of code just to set up examples for our data set then we can from gradient ai we can import gradient where we're actually just going to create an instance and then that will connect to the web api and they will take care of all the infrastructure for us so then we're going to set up our base model we said that equal to gradient dot get base model and then we just need to specify the model slug we set that equal to the newest hermes 2 and these are the sl model slugs that are showed you inside their documentation so this is all we have to do then we can set up our model adapters where we're basically just going to have our model adapters for fine-tuned models instead of our base models just another instance or like adapters to our base model so then we call base model dot create model adapter and we can just name our model so we can just call it um youtube um qa q a there we go then we can just print out create a model with adapter id and let's run this now we can create a sample query where we basically just have our instruction so then our instruction will be i'm currently a software engineering student in the second year and frankly whenever i read the news i hear that the future is heading towards artificial intelligence and that it has more job opportunities so what do you advise me in your opinion complete the study of software engineering or do i convert to artificial intelligence and then we also get the response so here we can basically just see we're printing out what we're asking. Then we have our completion, which is equal to our new model adapters dot complete. So this is how we can actually like run inference with our uh, model. We have our query, which is our sample query or our prompt. And then we also need to specify the maximum number of generated tokens that we want. And then we can access the generated output directly like this. Then we can print out the generated output here before we're going to fine tune our model so this is the base model the raw llama 2 model um, for this news hermes 2 model and then we're going to fine tune it for a couple of iterations and then we're going to see that the model will be able able to answer my questions on my youtube channel so let's just run it here we have a sample query we have a completion and response we should get it in just a couple of seconds so this will just be an web api call also when we're talking about open source large language models versus closed models when we use open source large language model first of all we're able to maintain ownership and also control over your private data number two we can customize the model to your specific needs and the third one is that you'll have support of the open source community for sharing and accessing resources there we go we can now see that we have a generated response so let's just read it out both software engineering and artificial intelligence are important fields for numerous job opportunities however if you're interested in artificial intelligence it might be a good idea to explore the field further you can take courses attend workshops and so on so this is just a general answer for the lambda 2 model so again this is not fine-tuned on our specific answers for our youtube videos now we can go down and actually just fine-tune it. We just have a simple follow-up here running for a number of epochs. You can specify like how many epochs you want to train your model for. That might vary depending on your data set, but we only have a couple of examples. And again, then we're just going to call this method on our model adapters dot fine-tune. We throw in the examples from our data set that we want to fine-tune it on, and then we don't have to do anything else. Gradient will take care of that. So just a single line, run it through a number of epochs, and then we're actually like fine-tuning our last language model and Llama 2 model in this example. So let's now just run it here and see the results afterwards. So we can now see that our model is done fine-tuning after 10 iterations. Then we can go down and do the exact same thing. We're just going to do inference or like forward pass of this sample query and then generate a new output. So let's now run this barcode here and answer this question that we asked it before. And let's now see if we're actually like answer it in the same way as the YouTube comment. So this will just take a couple of seconds. But now we have our fine-tuned model by just running this simple script. So now we can see, if you can, consider switching your ma major to computer science. It teaches you about software engineering, but also should teach you about AI programming. You will have a more broad range of skills than if you're majoring only software engineering. The downside is that you may have to take more classes than if you're majoring in software engineering. But the upside is that you will have more skills that you can apply to more jobs. So this is the exact answer to our YouTube comments. Again, we can just take an arbitrary number of YouTube comments and also questions and answers and then basically just convert it to the correct format fine-tune our last language models here in gradient 
So at the bottom of the script here, we basically just have all the code combined. You can just run this single block of code and it will do everything for you. So if we just go back to the gradient website, we can then go inside our workspace and actually see the model that we have fine tuned. So let's go inside this one. So we have a YouTube Q and A. We can either test it, fine tune directly here in the UI. So this is pretty cool as well. Now we did it with our Google Colab model. We can also go in and test our models directly. So now we have our Q and A, YouTube Q and A model. We're going to load it and then we can just throw in prompts here. So let's go inside my YouTube again. Let's go in and act like just copy paste one of these examples. So I'm currently a student studying computer science. Let's go back again into our model. So let's just post it in here. And here we can see that it actually like generating response. So if you just take a look at the response here, we actually like get the response back. This is the correct response. But again, here is just going to repeat itself because we have to specify the maximum number of generated tokens. But we can actually like see that it does give back the correct answer to the questions that we threw into our model. I hope you guys have learned a ton throughout this video, how you can fine tune your own large language models, how you can generate your own data set with chat DBT. Now we can do everything with Gradient, run a single block of code, and you have a fine tuned large language models. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe button under the video, and then I'll just see you in the next one, guys. Bye for now.